Hello, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I remember <laughs> such a niche memory. Our know. little like baker lady that we had in elementary school, she would always sing that song. Hello everyone, happy Sunday to you. I hope everyone had a fantastic week of full of fantastic sales. Oh. I did not, but that's okay, that's okay. Because the past couple weeks before were really good, so there's gotta be an ebb and flow. Absolutely. I had like an okay amount of sales this week. I did not do really anything with the internet this week and I feel kind of bad, but it was- I think that every single I know. Week. But it's always one of those weeks. And I was out of town this weekend. Thankfully next weekend, I just get to like sit here and not go anywhere. I had a couple good eBay sales. Poshmark was kind of like, she was steady. Couple of day. My Poshmark really slowed down this week. Whereas my eBay definitely, I think, stayed on like where it's been, like performing quite well. Okay. I mean, it, usually it's never at the level of Posh, but it still does quite good. This week, I think, is my first week ever where eBay actually did better than Posh. At least numbers wise, my gross and net mm -hmm. are higher on eBay, so that's great. But I don't really know why Poshmark sales slowed. I always like to like assign a reason or come up with some like reason, but I really just yeah. don't have any idea this time. Like I I don't know if, if like the, the weather's just not really cooperating and turning very fall-esque. And so like I think that's people it. are kind of slowing the fall shopping until it really like feels like fall. I don't really know. It also could just be luck. And I I could just be assigning reasons for no reason. I <laughs> have literally just absolutely not slowed down my fall shopping. That's I have good. been acquiring sweaters. I bought a new pair of jeans. Mm. Oh. And then third, oh. <sighs> I keep. I have a new Patagonia. I keep eyeing leather trenches because every year I want a leather trench coat, and I just never end up getting one. Because a lot of the vintage ones, they just like they're vintage. They look a little Terminator. They're not tailored. You know, yeah, like you I look a little like Terminator. I really want like a modern leather trench, and I've wanted one for like four or five years. But I also like want one that I genuinely really like. So I don't think I've needed anything else this fall. Really, I have tons of jeans. Personally, I've got. Plenty of boots that I really like and like to wear. Mm -hmm. I I don't really wear sweaters, but I have a few sweaters. So I, I love my sweaters. I do you know. know what though? Do you know what? I saw a lot of flannels and jackets, so I don't need those. I do have all my good flannels. I have a beautiful Ralph Lauren wool flannel that I found in Turnstile, and I can't wait to bust her out. I saw an advertisement on the internet for square toed Doc Martens, and they have the hmm. square heel. Cool. I don't know. Anyway, speaking of fall, I'm speaking not saying clothing, I'm not gonna buy them, but I am. Speaking of fall, speaking of clothing, we had the fall 2024 trend report go up this last Tuesday, so I hope you oh, guys enjoyed that. So good. From the comments, it seems like you did, and I will say, as we told you we would, we have already filmed the trends R and D, and Wonderful we time. were. Spot on. I don't think we've ever been like more easily able to find like every single trend it was the nail on the head situation like we absolutely like every store just had like everything we tried a couple new stores that we haven't done before mm -hmm. and we went to all the old favorites so that'll be going up next tuesday the trend oh, r&d if you haven't so seen one good. before that's just us going to the mall of america and going to like our favorite stores, some of the trendy and popular stores, and showing you guys the trends that we just talked about, proving that we weren't just making it up. It's so fun. Yeah, I love them it was super fun. It's but nice we, because we filmed it on like a Wednesday, mm -hmm. so there's nobody there. Yeah. It was wonderful. Anyway, so this is going to be what sold Sunday for the week of the 21st through the 27th. Now, like I said last week, we will be opening P.O. Box packages this week. I think last week was when you were not here because I you were doing the art fair. <laughs> I had an art festival last weekend i had a conference this weekend yeah. i'll be here next weekend i promise yeah well you are here this weekend too yeah <laughs> you're not I, here with us is ryan in the room with us are right you now? who is not in front of me who is here right now <laughs> but we have like five p.o box packages some large some small so at the end we will be opening those but of course to start off things we have a valentine vip to talk about and oh, to yes, shout out too. we did have a valentine well I had a Valentine video go up this last Wednesday. You guys got experience with me. I'll spoil this for people that aren't Valentine. The Valentine's got experience with me the couple moments after I just found out that our mailbox was hit. So. <laughs> 
I, I was out. Home ownership I was is out doing things joy. with the Valentines, and all of a sudden, I'm like looking at our ring camera, and our mailbox is pummeled. So In the, the Valentines defense, and I though, trauma bond. Together. It was an ungodly ugly mailbox. Yeah, it was we're like just gonna a replace step it. Two like oh, little tykes. It was a little tykes mailbox, basically. Yeah, like that thick government grade plastic. Okay. No match anyways. against back bumper. Anyways, the Valentine VIP this week is Tiffany. So, hello, Tiffany. And Tiffany's name. closet is Tiffle's closet. So, that is T I F F L E S C L O S. Beautiful name. E T. But Tiffany's closet is right here. And of course, she will be the first link below. But Tiffany has all kinds of good stuff. She's got some Veronica beard in her closet. She's got a couple Jenny Kane pieces, which I've recently sold almost all my Jenny Kane that I had. So I've only ever had one. I have arbitrage some. But then she also has some clogs by Sven. And if you Ooh. do not know Sven, it is a super. Super, super expensive, like, dance goes, like, big rich money. older sister. Mm -hmm. Clog brand. She has a pair that are, like, girls, which I didn't even know they made kids. Mm. But, yeah, Sven is a great brand. Cute. Ralph Lauren collection shoes. She has some really cute Doc Martin, like, men's Oxfords that were super cute. And then she also had Torrid X Disney Nightmare Before Christmas swimsuit, which I didn't oh, even I know love. was a thing, but it was so cute. So, thank you, Tiffany, so much for being a Valentine. And thank you to all of our Valentines for being a Valentine. Valentines, I think I know what next month's video is gonna be, and it relates to ones we've done in the past. Something is returning that we have done together in the past. If you know, you can maybe guess. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the sales for the week. So, I had nothing on Mercari or Depop. Or I had a one on Mercari. And I had only two on Depop, and I like this little, like, one on Mercari a week situation. Yeah, I usually feel like I nice. one a week on Mercari, but this week, no. My one on Mercari was this Anthropology, and I might butcher this name, Shirelia. Shirley Pearl Tram Top Handle Straw Bag, a really cute little going out bag. This one for 40 doll hairs. My first on Depop was this Y2K Hippie Patchwork Tie-Dye Distressed Hoodie, sold for a $22. And then next, I believe... These were from Stephanie. Uh, yeah. So Stephanie, <laughs> yes. thank you for the coin, girl. Yes. I much appreciate it. Stephanie is too generous that I start to be like, I just assume everything is basically at this point. Too, like, honestly, like... <laughs> they were these really adorable Prada vintage Y2K white patent leather ballet bow. Mary Jane flats. Trigger word. Trigger word. Trigger word. Trigger word. Trigger word boom. 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 They sold for sixty dollars, and these were size five and a half. Checks. All I kind of thought I would sit on these for a little bit, but they had the cute little like Prada spill out on the bow. Mm -hmm. oh, adorable. On eBay, I did have some sales though. I had 11 sales on eBay. I had three. One, two of which are <laughs> weak making. Good. So my first sale on eBay this week was this Jay McLaughlin offshore woven straw hat. This sold for 20 And this is kind of why I picked up that Banana Republic one earlier in the week. Because, like, when I have any of these by any, like, literally just brand I know. They do. Mall brand, whatever. Like, they usually sell for something. Then I sold this pair of Anthropology Victoria Garcia Sparrow printed flannel pajama pants. Which is so weird. So I went to ship like last weekend in the storage unit and I saw those and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe these haven't sold yet. And like the next day they sold. You just gotta manifest it. Yeah. Tell you so just what you want. <laughs> next time I go in the storage unit, I'm gonna be like, you sell, you're gonna sell, you're gonna sell, I and then that. they'll all just sell. They sold for 34, so that's great. Then I sold this Every Z Supply Kenny Faux Suede Taupe Stone Shacket Suede. Sold for 20, <laughs> so it didn't sell for a ton, but that's okay, Cute I think that was a Vince fine. Then I sold this pair of Hudson London calf hair printed Western boots. Note, editor's note, it is not the same Hudson as jeans. The jeans company. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. there's like a whole nother shoemaker called Hudson London, and they make really nice shoes. They only retail for like 125 to 150, so not crazy high, Good, like, mid but they're boots. super, super like nice. So mm -hmm. this still sold for 4838, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. Is that one of those like 18% off prices? Yeah. <laughs> then I sold this Ganny Fen Boucle wool belted wrap coat. This was a recent arbitrage find, so this sold quite quickly. Sold for $150 and the buyer paid shipping. Then I sold finally, 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 finally. Oh my god, finally. these. Uh, I love these. I sold these Farm Rio snake printed graphic jogger pants. I have had these for years, like forever. Mm -hmm. Did I get these at the TJ Maxx? by Bonchon or something like that. Yes, you did. I, for some reason, feel mm -hmm. like I did. That they were like a one of those farm, I don't even know if farm shows up at TJ's anymore. I think it's very been that rarely. Because it did Every for a while, it did for a while, mm -hmm. and then it stopped. Like, are these even longer ago? 
Are these from somewhere in Iowa? I don't know. I've had these. They've been here a forever, long time. even though they're so cute, and they always have had like a hundred likes on Posh, and then I'll like relist them, and then they get like a hundred more, and I'm like, none of <laughs> you have like, ever just wanted to own them. You don't just like want them, <laughs> okay? So yeah, sold for one thirty, so I'll take it. But I That's think like enough. the time value of money, if you split that out, I don't think, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't think. Then I saw then I saw this Evereve Noel open back printed purple floral dress. Cute. Sold for 40. Then I sold this Jenny Kane. Jenny Kane wool alpaca funnel mock neck pullover sweater sold for 110. Then I sold this Nation LTD speckle puff sleeve tee for 28. If you do have any Nation pieces, it not only does good on Posh. Mm -hmm. It actually I've had really good luck on Mercari mm -hmm. and really good luck on eBay, so be yeah. sure to post it. Then also, this so cute. also after oh. years, years and years, this might even be older than the Farm Rio pants. I sold this Anthropology Sanctuary Leopard Faux Fur Coat. Leopard? Faux Fur. Yeah. Coat. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Sanctuary. Yes. Anthropology. Long sleeve. <laughs> Polyester. <laughs> Button pockets. This sold for 150, which is my full asking price, That's pretty which good. is fantastic. So I guess in the end it was worth it, but it took a long time to get here, and it actually did sell international. So there's gonna be oh, some good. some trendy little like leopard lady in like Europe or something. Good for her. I didn't look man. where she was from. And then last on eBay for the week, Oakley Flak XL sunglasses sold for 75, and I cannot believe I even have any sunglasses left. I can. You had a million of those things. Are you kidding me? I still might have like one or two like maybe a pair of suits they're floating around somewhere yeah i don't know <sighs> let's get into it okay so my first on ebay you sold something very similar a week or two ago maybe like, like a month ago i feel like about a month ago i feel my memory is horrible i feel like it was like two weeks i love these i love these little like random y2k sales that are like so good and make it weak vintage lucky brand y2k multicolor graphic front zip hoodie sold Full price for one hundred and fifty doll hairs. Just because I know you do this to me, I want to point it out to the audience. But I was able to sell a Lucky Brand Y two K hoodie for more than the king of Y two K himself. <laughs> Mine was one seventy five. I'm gonna knock that on your <laughs> iPad. <laughs> So that was a really good sale, and I was super happy that that actually sold. I was kind of like, oh god, did I price this way too high? But that's then like, like, no. That's what I was like too, because it wasn't getting that much attention, but then somebody pops in and wants it. Somebody so. just shows up. The next sale. This is such a good bolo. I do not know if any of you will ever find it. I randomly found it at, at a buy sold trade store in Des Moines. The brand is Greeley Hat Company, the Marky Tan Felt Custom Hat. This was $12. I had this really funny Instagram picture of my mother modeling oh, this yeah. hat little janet i listed it at 325 because they're like seven to nine hundred dollar hats Aren't they, they are like custom order too? so expensive yes this sold for 295 dollars and i paid 12 bucks that's like the eyes pop out of the the face moment boy oh, look at me go being good at my job so happy I, they sign them so the person that like makes them like signs the little sharpie thing i was like is that's this somebody, know something is this like, somebody famous is small production very <laughs> and my last was a really cute little y2k find again this coach vintage y2k cream handle canvas top shoulder bag sold full price for 40 bucks easy Okay, so moving on to Posh, the 21st, I did not have anything. I didn't have any either. But the 22nd, I had two. I had three. On two, two, I had two. Two, 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 two. That's Will's birthday. Uh, my first sale went to one of you, and that went to Heather. 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 So Heather popped into my closet, and this was before the trend report. So either she had her 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 finger on the pulse. Oh, she just knows. Or, she, yeah, she's just in two. She has a camera. So for her daughter, she purchased this vintage leather zip bomber jacket in chocolate brown. So yeah, it was a- So cute. I had solely purchased this from the bins because we had already filmed the trend report. So I was mm -hmm. like, hmm, leather bomber. Okay. Sure enough, yeah. So this sold for 52 to Heather and I get 4160. So her daughter is gonna be like, Right on trend. Done. Yeah. So good. Ahead of the trend. Then I, mean, I sold these Zara Men's Fall treaded Chelsea boots. They sold men's? They sold for 40 and oh. I get 32. They were men's nine. Are you thinking of those brown ones? Yeah. Because those are not men's. Oh. Okay. This was like a black pair that I found okay. like a week ago. Again, the Zara that is suddenly just. Zara. Like, the like, but decent Zara that's suddenly just pouring God, into it's my It's not arms. just like cheap chintz. 
I mean, I mean no. it is, but, well, like, but those, it's not that bad. Those boots are fun. Yeah, I've had I've had some like leather. Yeah, a little bit of wool, a little bit of here and there. Mm -hmm. Okay, my first on the twenty first was this pair of Gian Vito Rossi Portofino dark teal suede chunky. Portofino, ay Gian Vito Rossi mia, Portofino. <laughs> Uh, so for $125, I make $100. My next from the 22nd was this Levi's Vintage 90s Blue Denim Sherpa Lined Jacket. This was not one of the older ones. This was a newer one, so they don't go for like as much. This one sold for $25. Bucks. I make $20. Was My little car coat? It was a trucker trucker. Mm. I will get a car coat. Though. I think, I think, yeah, I think. I think, I think, I think. If you have a denim jacket that has like the corduroy collar, that can count as like a car coat. Yes. Or even maybe if it had like suede or... It's a thin line between trucker and it very car. Much it very much Truck is. and car. car potato, and truck, potato. Street road. Frog and toe. Highway. Tit and tat. County road. Freeway. Gravel. County road jacket. Freeway uh, jacket. My next and last on the 22nd was this Disney Parks Mad Hatter adjustable character hat. Ten bucks. Ten and five. <laughs> Do I hear 10? <laughs> no? Okay. Okay, I'll just throw it I'll away. just get rid of it. On the 23rd, I had two again. I had one. My first sale was this pair of Athleta Sculpt Tech Blue Indigo Jeans. Sold for 29 I get 23 20 Still the Athleta Jeans. Even skinny. For some reason, they have done quite well for me. Good. Even as Athleta has kind of fallen off, and skinny jeans have obviously fallen off. And last on the 23rd, Garnet Hill Cashmere Pullover Sweater. 25 bucks. 25 bucks. And I get 20 bucks. Cute. Uh, uh, that was pretty trendy. Single color really trendy. sweater. Brace yourselves. My one and only on the 23rd. Anthropology Mave Chevron Metallic Skirt. Sold for $23. I make fifteen forty-two. Nice. On the 24th, I had one. I had three. Two. Anna Anderson Spooky one. Smiles Ghost Tea. Yay! 20 bucks. I get 16. It was very cute. cute. I would like a better sales day than that. Normally. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> My one and only on the 24th was this vintage 1960s geometric patterned shift dress. Sold for $29. I make 20 22 yeah, though it's hard to complain about my one on the 24th because on the 25th, I didn't have anything. <laughs> Woo, I had one! And it was this pair of Bedsu Cobbler Series Lace-Up Oxford Loafers. Sold for $30. The, like, loafers don't do as good as the boots yeah. for Bedsu. But also, like, yeah, they were, like they were against fine. Stuff. Yeah. I think Freebird can be like that, too. Yeah. The best is the boots. Sold for 30 bucks. I get 24 On the 26th, I had five. I had two. So my first sale went to Tina. So hello, yeah. Tina, and thank you for popping into my closet. She got the Cole Haan Hampshire Suede Ankle Boots. These were also from a couple weeks back, and they were literally brand new with a $200 sticker on the bottom. So cute. Fun fact, these were actually sold at Anthropology also, hmm. which I didn't even know Cole Haan had ever been sold at Anthro. No, so that was cool to find out. Good but to know. Sold for $72. I get $57.60. So thank you very much to Tina. Mm -hmm. Then I sold, this was weird. Once again, the Ever Eve Noel open back printed purple dress. This is the one that had just sold on eBay and they both sold in the same size because mm -hmm. I had two, but I've had them for a while. So why did suddenly... Two people want them when no one's wanted them before. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Sold for 40. Mm -hmm. I get 32. Then I sold the pair of Mother the Looker Military Green Skinny Jeans. Military Green. Yep. Green pants. These are the ones that I also just found like in the past month. Sold for 36. I get 26.78. I still didn't mark them like crazy high because they were still skinny. So, yeah. Yeah. And I've had a few mother that are trickier. Yeah. Like, I think mother isn't cute. like the, a, any of the lookers, I think, are just like a little dated. Yeah. I like you can still sell them, but they it definitely like it's a little trickier. Yeah. Then I sold this vintage Y2K button denim vest jacket. This sold for 28. I get 2038. And it even had some like collar discoloration <sighs> and stuff. It was just so trendy. I knew that would sell. And then Kim! Damn! Popped into my closet. Oh my and Kim purchased this Anthropology Margot Baradon Ruffle mm. Off Shoulder Top. This was some like super rare, super expensive random. Oh, this is cute. Yeah. Yeah. When I picked it up, I was like, what, what is this? What in the world is this? And I then I looked up the brand and I was able to figure it out. But yeah, this is like some expensive anthro brand. Sold to Kim for 28 and I get 22.40. So thank you so much. 28 Kim. doll hires to yeah. Kim. And that's it for my 26th. My first on the 26th was this. This pair of Mark Fisher pointed toe chunky snake skin heel booties sold for 24 bucks. I get 19 20. Easy. My next on the 26th was this Faherty. Faherty? Sure. Faherty. I have not said that in so long. This Faherty men's striped Fah collar Fahirty. long sleeve sold for 10 bucks. I get 705. Faherty. Faherty. Are you like an Irishman? I am. 
On the 27th, I had five. I had one. My first sale was this Sandro Tweed Textured Structured Oversized Blazer. Sold for 88, I get 70, 40. I probably almost broke even on that. But for a little bit, I was like, oh, I should like arbitrage Sandro. No. Sandro, unfortunately, does not keep its value. I wouldn't recommend it. Right. Yeah. Then, out of nowhere, That's I sold this Veronica Beard Amal floral printed ruffle dress for the full asking price of $150, and I thing? get 120 And yeah, this was a bins fine. Mm -hmm. I did not arbitrage this, so that was fantastic. Then I sold this J. Crew Schoolboy wool black blazer. Even though I put blazers, so I hope this person doesn't think they're getting like 10 of them. <laughs> it's just a I box of like multiple. Seven. Sold for That's 37 funny. I get 29 60 This was like older label. Just got it in the bins, mm -hmm. but. I love all the J. Crew blazers. Then I already sold the Autumn Cashmere Rose Floral Cottage Cardigan. This sold for $35. I get $28. Now Autumn Cashmere retails for like $350, $400. But it just it doesn't keep a ton of its value. So no, I'm happy to get that. Then I sold this Eileen Fisher Silk Blend 3 Button Long, kind of like a duster. I don't know what this was. Was it a top or was it like a... It was like, a, it had like, like buttons, but it was silk and sheer, but it went down to like your shin. So like, I don't know if it's a jacket, if it's a dress, it if kind it's of like, like a, a, over a robe. Well, it is, but like, I didn't wear know what like, to like... Wear it over like a tank top like, or something. Overlayer is not like something you can like choose. So I was like, top. jacket, blouse, I don't know. Who knows? But it sold for 25 and I get 20 and that is it for my 27. My first and only on the 27th was this Anthropology Moth Multicolor Paisley Blazer. I would have liked to get more for this, but like, in with the old, out with the new. Sold for 25 bucks, I make 20. In with the old, out with the new? Is that how you- Flip that around. Is that how you work? Yeah. All right, so moving on to the numbers. On eBay, my gross was 805 and 38 cents. My gross on eBay was 485. And my eBay net was 660 and 41 cents. Mine was four. 1225. But my Poshmark gross, remember eBay was 805. My Poshmark gross was 721. It was 364. And my Poshmark net <laughs> was 576 and 80 cents. Mine was 21120. I love when I make three sales on eBay and I do better than a whole lot of <laughs> Yeah, it's literally. So nice. So just reinstating that it is worth our time to cross post on eBay for Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get into these P.O. boxes pretty quick here. Brian's gonna switch into a t-shirt. I'm hot. And then we're gonna crack into these P.O. box packages oh. because we have quite a few. I okay, am so comfortable now. Thank you. So we're gonna just jump right into these because like I said, there are five. So <laughs> And we already have almost went the full length of a normal. Oh, yeah. Sunday. So first up is from Jessica. And yes, Jessica yeah. is from Maryland. Now, Jessica, I think, actually messaged me, like, DM'd me about this. So I think I know what it is. And I think... She's actually from the second channel, so I don't even know if she's watching this, but if you are, thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Miss Jessica, but for the kind like gift. Oh, look at the card! Jessica gave a super cute so card. Cute. I think I one time just bought this card just to own because I thought it was so cute. I love that. Yeah, so according to the note, it is exactly what I think. <gasps> so Jessica told me that she had some Joanna Parker which if you do not know, is a really, really amazing folk, like mm -hmm. artist, designer, such home cool, decor maker. Such a cool artist. To my left is a whole entire shelf of her stuff. She had some pieces and she was like, oh, I just don't think that I have room for them anymore. So like, if you want them, I'd rather have them go to someone who will appreciate them. <laughs> and you're like, okay. And I was like, I am that somebody. And I can see that's exactly what these are. I'm so, so cute. Oh, I love him. So first up, we have the pumpkin guy. Look I him. do not have have this one it is so cute these are mugs but i actually just use them as like decor because look at how cute they are so cute this is so adorable and it looks like she sent two of them yes so we also have the black cat this is so adorable look at him. These were probably at some point a home goods one because I know that she has teamed up with Transpack before, but these are probably some older ones because I do not have either of these. So these I'm are big. So, I feel like compared to the ones that they usually make. I'm so these excited so about cute. these. Thank you so much, Jessica. These will be in my collection forever. We'll put them Trust in our China hut. These are so cute. So thank you, Jessica, so much for offering these to me. I love them. Melanie also sent us a package. Melanie, Melanie, the coach queen. She's so Could nice. you imagine she just sent all the coach bags back? She's like, I'm done. <laughs> ah! 
she wraps it all so nicely. Mm. And Ryan, Jack. Look at this. Where did you get this wrapping paper? This is, so this is iconic. Little spider webs. Melanie. Okay, there is a card. And then there's something for the boys. Pretty sure this will be so good. It says, pop your butt. That looks just like Will. That's so cute. It really does. <laughs> Aw, so sweet. sweet. So, so she wrote a whole little, like, typed out spooky little letter. And she That's said adorable. it's haunt hunting season. So she sent some stuff to help us along with haunt hunting. And her dogs, Houdini and Yoda, wanted to Houdini give, and Yoda. Wanted to give Mike that. and Will some of their favorite treats. Some witches brew <laughs> These treats. Are so These are so cute. And then zombie bites. Oh, These are so they, sweet. These dogs okay. are so Boiled. These, they're gonna be so wheat free. Exciting. Peanut butter, pumpkin, and carob. I. Okay, but like, why can't I eat these? That's I so good. Just like, I buy so many spooky dog Beef treats broth carrot during spooky season, so these are cherished and treasured. Oh, we and love appreciate them. it. Thank you so much, We Melody. love them. Okay, we'll open ours now. I have a t shirt. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I have a cousin that lives in Texas, and okay. she is like, you culturally need to have a Bucky's shirt if you live down there, but she doesn't live by Look one. at how cute this is. And so when I told her, like, oh, people have sent oh, us Bucky's true. shirts before, she was like, what? She was like, I want one. I am obsessed with this. So, like this is bat. so cute. The Boo Crew. Cute. I love. <gasps> Oh, this is so cool. And then she sent me some Art of Sam from Trick or Treat, which oh, is I like one of this like my me. top three or four. This is so I am obsessed cute. With this. The Boo Crew. My heart is full of spooky things. That's very accurate. I love me. all the little like, it's Casper the Friendly cute. Bucky Ghost. Thank oh, you so much, so Melanie. Melanie. You spoil us and the dark. Oh my gosh, it glows in the dark. <laughs> Oh, this you is going to be... You are so sweet. Thank that you is so time. much. Next up, we have Maggie from California. California. We know, we know quite a few Maggie, so this might be this one. This We already have a bag that's right up, right up my alley. I love when we get in the season of spooky Christmas. That's what this is. It's so, so good. Okay, so we got a card first. Jack and Ryan. So we're going to look at this, of course. So cute. Sparkly. So okay, sweet. Okay, so she found whatever this is at a yard sale. And, I love and it. And she felt that we needed them. Uh, so I have a feeling Maggie's going to be correct about this. What is this going to be? I'm excited. Ooh. Oh, pretty. Uh, these are cool. Look at these adorable Tahari, like... Uh, little the day in the day. Sugar yeah, skull. Sugar skull. skull. Yeah, These sugar really skull cute. like coasters. We are a household of coasters. We, we have, have them so in every room, so everywhere. So this is absolutely perfect. These are so cute. Thank I love you. the beadwork. Thank you so much, Maggie. These Thank are you, Maggie. so cute. So sweet. Yeah, much appreciated. So this next one actually, <laughs> there's no label because it came in a different package that was from H a Dancer Ms. Kristen. Kristen, she sent me some very wonderful art books that I've been using all year. Yeah. It's just like decor and some collage materials stuff for my kids and then she sent us a little a little goodie box yes and i believe she said that this is like a candy goodie box it is like international a, candies or something i want to say korean if i remember the cards correctly. okay but i yes. will be partaking in the snack too yes but that sounds delicious thank you for the art books thank you for yes them. my kids love them Ooh. oh yeah okay we have these must be like oh it's like yeah sesame these are cakes so good i love sesame cakes we've got cakes. a few sesame cakes of different flavors fruity alaichi Fruity jelly. Peanut butter cake. Oh, that's the one I want. It's like jello jelly. Shots? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I don't know how to like open it. Lychee and mango. I don't know how to open it. Oh, 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 Okay, and I'll taste the peanut butter. Oh my god, these are so good. Oh. Mmm. That's just delicious. It's like chunks of peanuts. I love, can I, mm. I love sesame cakes. Oh my gosh, that was so Thank good. Thank you for the breakfast, Thank you, Kristen. Kristen. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's, yeah. These are delectable. Amazing. Suddenly a mukbang is hers. Someday Ryan will be done eating. I'll be done chewing. So we have Oh, she's a big girl. A really big box. I hope and it's this, eggs. This one oh we God. also expected. We don't know what's in it, but we knew it was coming. So this is from Ariel. A dear friend Ariel. A good good oh. friend of ours from Instagram. I randomly popped on to Yeah, I randomly opened the Poshmark app. And it shows you like who's doing like a live show right now. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I think that's Ariel. So I opened it. Sure enough it was. So then I was she like is. I totally threw her like show off. I was like, Hey, how are you? What's up, girl? How are you? <laughs> she's, life. she's trying to make money and I'm like messing around. Let me so. interrupt. Okay, so this is a large box with all 
all kinds of stuff, it looks like. So many fun things. And we're going to read the note, of course, first. The nicest note. Yes, Ariel, that was like you. the most heartfelt note that we've ever so received. So sweet. That was super, super sweet. Oh, so she's a full girl. She wrote she? us each our own little like part of that, yeah. just talking about us and how nice she is. Personal and, stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, so and then you, she Ariel. wrote that she sent some home stuff, possibly some Halloween stuff. She said she's been wanting to send us stuff, but couldn't decide what. But right away, I see something very good on top. I see a sign. So she sent this adorable, spooky sign. Oh, I love this. This will be perfect for my office, as oh my, my office is spooky 24-7. I like this spot too. This is so cute, it's and it's so like this cute. nice wood. I love this. Thank you, Ariel, for that. Adorable. We have a newest tag. Adorable anthropology that black, adorable. like, placemat. I'm or it's like a, the table. like a charger. Those things yeah. you put in the center of the table. Ooh. But everything, Thanksgiving? everything in our kitchen is black, so this works absolutely perfectly. <laughs> These are so <laughs> cute. Yeah, Thank that's you, really Ariel. cute. These are cute. so cute. Like okay, a little so burlap. Sent a set of place masks. And it looks like these are also anthro. These are adorable. These are so nice. They also seem delicate. Not Ariel these completely decorating our Thanksgiving <laughs> table. Love that. These, I was gonna say these will be for like Thanksgiving and for fancy these are stuff because so cute. these seem delicate and I don't want to just like they ruin do. them day to day. I know. So I nice. love these. I love a set too. Oh. <laughs> this Oh, is this like a blanket? It's a beautiful blanket. Oh, there's two. There might be three. There are two <laughs> massive blankets. Oh my gosh. This is, is this a rug? Oh, this is a rug. Is it? Rug. A five by seven? Ariel, you did not ship me a five by seven rug. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Once okay, again, so we'll go back fit, to the blanket. Look at this rug. It'll, <gasps> it'll fit in like any room. I love this. It is the tapas. Oh, this, this is from Urban Outfitters. Oh, it's Urban. Nice. Okay, um, come on, this living room. This is super nice. A five by seven. Like, I That's don't. Huge. Oh my god. This is wild. Okay, so this is our new living room rug. This is Absolutely. so cute. Yeah. And it goes with the rug that we already have. We in have the a couple room. rooms that need rugs, so. Our downstairs needs a rug also. This that is so nice. Okay, so this blanket. This is oh, so. Cute. Is it like a is it like a sun? Or? I think it is. Oh, it is. Okay, wait, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here this? we go. Here we go. Okay, so once I. Un this is so cute. Our guest room is Halloween right now, but once I like switch it back to normal, this will be perfect. Oh, immediately. For our guests. Oh, this is also urban. Areola. This is so nice. This is so cute. And it's like. It's really nice. Textured. It's oh, super I love soft, this. Okay, that's a keeper. Let's see. We got some party cups. Cute. I oh, these are anthro party cups. Oh my god, I love Thanksgiving. Once Literally again, the perfect. leftovers. Yes, the scallop party cup. Market di Oh! Wow. What? I've actually been thinking about buying some of these. These are little, like, dishcloths from Anthro. There's four of them in here. This is so nice. Ariel, this oh is my too gosh. nice. Look at how cute. I love this. These are adorable. This is also Anthro. Oh my god. Me trying to figure out what these things are. Is this like a... Is this like a... I might have to reverse image I know. this. My, Does it say? my simple little brain is Vacuum like... Vacuum regularly. That looks like almost like a rug or like a... It's a square. I I is no it like idea. a plant stand? That's kind of no. what I was something you said. This I'm... I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I love it either way. I it's just adorable. have to figure out what it is. But the last thing is I believe an anthro blanket. Oh. These are so... So nice. Are you kidding? Ariel, look at this big old. I love this. This is also so soft. And this again, is these so colors cute. are perfect, like for any room in our house. These are so. Look at these pops. Ariel. This is huge. <laughs> This is wild. You did not have to do all this. This is yeah. This is amazing. Far too much. There we all are so sweet, but also like, do I put it past Ariel to be like the sweetest person? No, I really, really don't. You know. Okay. Thank this you is so much, Ariel. Like, now that we have our fully new furnished and our new like bedspread. This is like my new favorite blanket. That this is, is so, so soft. You can be like the Selena Gomez blanket thing. What was that thing where she was like wrapped in a blanket and she's sitting out on her like patio and then everyone was like, "What's that blanket?" Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to have a sitting on this one. <laughs> Ariel, this was too kind. Ariel, thank oh, you my God. so much. She was like, oh, I'm so nervous for you to open it. Like, I hope you like it. I'm like, how wouldn't we? Are you kidding? This is so nice. Yeah, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Ariel. Oh, and God. thank you. 
to everybody, to everybody thank so you much. all so much we do not expect nor probably deserve any of this no <laughs> so right. thank you so much otherwise that is all that we have for you guys today so we will see you on tuesday yes. for the r d we're gonna go to the mall of america and find the trends and then on thursday for a bins haul which we will have to see if ryan can join us for or not yeah we'll see but yeah that is all that we have today we will see ya when you choose to see us. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.